Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Marketplace Product Mask Upload Extension. And in the previous video, we showed you how the admin would be able to do a mass upload of products within his OpenCart web store using the XLS file. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be talking about the XML file and we'll be showing you how the admin would be able to add and update the products in bulk within the OpenCart uh, web store. So uh, let's get ahead and let's see how this can be done. So for that, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you to the admin backend panel first. So here I am in the admin backend panel and to do a bulk upload using the uh, XML file, what I'll do is I'll navigate to the mass upload menu option and here under the upload section, we'll go and uh, we'll first of all download the demo files uh, by clicking this download demo uh, button here. And after that, uh, we'll be editing the, uh, the uh, downloaded demo file first, the downloaded XML file. And thereafter, we'll uh, add the products using the XML file. And we'll show you how to update the products using the XML file as well. And how to use uh, the XML file for uploading the products with the uh, additional uh, or multilingual uh, sections as well. So what we need to do is, after we have downloaded the uh, demo files, now, uh, after downloading the file, what we'll do is we'll navigate to uh, the uh, file uh, on our desktop where we have uh, saved it. So here uh, is the file that I have downloaded uh, from the uh, demo link there. I need to extract the contents of this file. And uh, this is a demo file basically for use and you can uh, edit this file and uh, you can upload the products using the uh, CSV, XLS and the XML files that we have provided within it and using the image uh, you can upload the images in zip so today we are talking about the xml file so i'll just go to the xml file and here we have uh, two uh, zip files two xml zip files one is for editing the products and the other one is for updating the products so uh, now first of all what we'll do is we'll add the products uh, uh, for a particular seller in the uh, in the in the in the open art web web store there so for that what I need to do is I need to extract the contents of the add product admin xml.zip file. So I'll just extract the contents of that file and I'll delete the original one. After that I'll uh, go to this xml add product file and I'll open it up. So uh, this is how the file looks like the xml file. Uh, yeah, basically it is. Uh, it is having these XML elements and each element has a start and an ending tag. For example, here we have the product ID. It is a small tag and it ends with a backslash here as you can see. So it every uh, tag has a starting and an ending tag. So we have an upload and we'll have, be having an ending upload tag as well as you can see on the bottom end. And similarly, we have the product tag and the product tag would also uh, be ending there so we have ending product tag as well and similarly what we can do is uh, for under the uh, within the upload we have the product and within the product tags we'll add the uh, attributes of the products so what we need to do uh, all of the information that needs to be updated as we have already done within the csv file and the xls file uh, we had the columns uh, that are the attributes we were putting in the values there and those uh, values uh, were then updated uh, in mass there so what we need to do is we need to uh, uh, create an xml element that's the upload tag open and close within that we we'll have the product open and close and within the product tag that opens and closes we'll set up the information for the product so for each of the attributes there, we will create this element here, like the product ID, the seller ID, the model, the SKU, the quantity, the stock status, and similarly the other values of the product. Uh, for example, if you're adding the product attribute, the product attribute would have a starting tag and an ending tag here. So this is the product attribute and here it has the ending tag. Then we have added one more uh, product attribute starting from this this line here uh, up till here then we have again added uh, the attribute in another language so if you are uploading the uh, products in mass and if you're having multiple languages for the uh, 
for each of the products there and then what you can do is for example uh, we have the product attribute here and uh, within the product attribute uh, we have set up the attribute id for that particular attribute then we have set up the uh, uh, language in which it should be visible so we'll set it up as english then we have set the name of the attribute then the product attribute description and within the uh, opening and closing of the product attribute description we have set up the uh, text that should be visible there and similarly for the other languages you can attach the arabic as i've added here then you can add more languages similarly after the closing tag like english open close then the arabic open close then the same value again goes here but within the arabic you need to enter the values in urdu or in arabic and uh, you need to save that here so after uploading the products uh, the uh, text would be with, uh, would be available in the other languages as well so what we need to do is what i'll do is i'll first uh, add a product uh, i'll add two products and uh, let me set up a product one product id is let me one product id i'll set it as 100 i've added basically two products here so here you can see that the product has uh, the product uh, what we say as the element has closed up and we are now add, uh, we have to add one more uh, product so i have started the product and then it will continue further down so uh, for the time being uh product underscore id so i'll set it as 121 so uh, basically we are having two, two products here i've added two products that we'll be uploading today uh, within the uh, seller account so in the previous videos we had shown you how the admin can add the products in mass and update in mass uh, within his for his own products but today we'll be showing it uh, using the xml file we'll show you how to add the products for the seller and uh, here i've set up the product id is 121 and the product id now I'll save this file and I'll close this down and uh, after I've edited this uh, demo file I'll right click on that and I'll send it to the uh, zipped file format and while saving please note that while saving you need to add the extension as well to the zip file so the name dot xml dot zip I believe that old file I'll take this file and I'll just put it I'll just put it here and I'll delete the old one so uh, let me take you to the back end now and here we are in the uh, catalog section right now the, the, all the product is showing 1 to 17 products only and uh, now to upload the products in mass i'll go to my upload section once again under the mass upload and here i'll be selecting the uh, seller i'll select the file type i have to add new products so i'll select it as add new products only and hit the upload button now I'll tap on the add product dot uh, xml dot zip file there and i'll hit the next button thereafter and here you can see that the two products have been successful, so successfully added so uh, i'll go back at 17 of seven or one of 17 let me refresh the page for you and after refreshing the page uh, what we can see is that it's showing 1 to 19 now so here we can see that two products have been added and uh, it has the id of 125 as you can see on the lower corner there and the other one is having 124 ID. So this was how to upload the product in uh, mass using the XML file. Now let me show you how we can update the product. What we can do is we can change the name. Uh, for for the example, I'll be just changing the price of uh, one of the products. So here we have the product Rivera and it has the ID 125. So I will be uh, updating that. So for that, what we'll do is we'll again go back to XML. We'll go to the XML update. Uh, product admin dot this file 
we can extract the contents of this file we'll delete the original one we'll open the update product xml file or the admin and let this uh, come up so here we are so what we'll do here is that uh, we'll be setting up the product id as 1.5 save and control f product id 1.4 and uh, what I'll do is I'll just change the price of one of the uh, products there. So here we are having this as 100. So let me set it as 500. 500. Let me save that up. Let me close it. Let me make a right click, send to compressive folder. And before saving, I'll be adding the XML format there. And uh, now we'll just move a bit back we have our update file ready so uh, now we'll go back to the product section and uh, to the mass upload section to the upload section on the mass upload here we'll select the uh, demo demo seller the XML file type we are updating the old product we'll hit the upload button and we'll hit select the upload uh, XML file and we'll hit the next button thereafter and here you can see that both of the products have been successfully uh, updated so now we need to check that up we had changed the price there so uh, let me refresh the page for you so here you can see that the river river and the price has been changed so that was how you can add and update the products uh, using the xml file it's very easy you just need to create the xml elements we'll be having uh, we are having uh, like the product product opening and closing and within that uh, we'll set up all the product information that is there for a particular product and uh, hope uh, this uh, video helped you out and uh, and uh, if you have any questions or queries then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.ubdesk.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead